Okay, so taking a quick look at how the pen tool works in Illustrator, I'm sorry, how the pen tool works in Adobe Flash, we can come over to our toolbar and we can take our pen tool. And what we're going to find is actually that it works very in a very similar way as it does in Illustrator and in Photoshop. So we have our pen tool and we can see we have the add anchor point, the delete anchor point, the convert anchor point. So we could just come on in and we can click. So let's say I wanted to do a floral kind of shape. I could click, 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 click. And this isn't quite a flower at all. Looks a little bit more like um, some kind of pole or something. Um, but I did straight lines. So we can see that when we're going to close our shape that we get the circle. Okay. All right, let's go back. Let's actually look at how we can have our curve shapes. And again, this is done in the very same way that it is done using and working in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so what we want to do is when we're starting a new path, a new, uh, our first point, we get this X. This is the beginning of our shape. So we can click, we pull our uh, mouse out, we drag, we pull out a handle. We come on in, we circle around, we close. We know that we're closing our shape by uh, when we hit the, get to the white. We click. All right, now we can come on in. Our, this shape is closed. We can come in and we can draw yet another shape. We close our shape. Okay, that shape is closed. So again, we come on over. Now again, I just got this and it said to add an anchor point. All right, so we can see that if I come onto a path here, um, it would add an anchor point. Um, this is actually connected in. Okay, so that's pretty much how our pen tool works. It works in a very similar fashion as how it does in Adobe Illustrator and in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks so much.